Hey everybody, it's Voltar here, and today we're going to be talking about the Wii Remote as well as batteries. Now let me ask you, what do you think the number one threat or killer is to the Wii Remote? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's not Retro RGB's anus, but good guess. It's actually this, a battery. Now, this is an alkaline battery, and when these are left unattended in a Wii Remote, they can cause catastrophic, irreparable damage. Now, I can't tell you how many of these I've seen personally come through here looking for a repair and unfortunately they just have to be sent to the graveyard. Now I don't like using alkaline batteries for this purpose and as a matter of fact I don't recommend anybody use these. As a matter of fact, oh, oh, don't use them. We have a better alternative. Now me, I like to repurpose old technology. So what I have here is a Nyko charging station that was designed for the Wii I think in late 2008 or 2009. Now the great thing about this is they're dirt cheap. People are literally giving these away and you can go on eBay and find these for 10, maybe even $15. But the problem is the battery packs in these are old. Now if we take one out, it looks new and it looks fantastic, but unfortunately these battery cells are up to 13, 14 years old. And these are nickel metal hydride batteries. They just don't have the gas anymore, and they're not designed to be broken down and replaced. But what if we can do something about that? What if we can actually carefully and easily disassemble this battery pack and replace the cells with inside? Well, stick around and we might just learn how to do a few more sexy skills. We might be using some more tech and we might be giving a new lease on life to some old technology that would otherwise be e-waste. So sit back, strap on, and let's do it. Now we have two Wii remotes in our Nyko charging station. Both of them are showing a green light, which means they're both fully charged. We have the stock battery packs in here. Let's just test them. Now I'm gonna pull out the blue remote and I'm gonna to try to power this. And we're getting nothing, nothing here. So we're gonna put this one to the side. We'll now try the white one. And we're getting something. Now this battery pack might still have plenty of life left in it, We'll judge its performance later, but I'm going to set it to the side because I don't need to do anything with it. And we're going to come right here to the blue remote. And we're going to take the battery pack out, just like this. And we're going to start examining it. Now, it's very important to understand these Nyko battery packs are not made to be disassembled. We're going to make a slight cut here across this plastic seam, and we're going to separate very carefully these two wide plastic halves to liberate the two battery cells within. Now these aren't alkaline batteries and these aren't double A batteries. These are actually nickel metal hydride batteries that are called four-fifths double A. It's actually these right here. You can buy these anywhere. This is just a standard NIMH battery. It's a fourth-fifth size and it can fit beautifully in here, but we need to make some alterations. Not only do we need to split this casing apart, we're also going to be using a new tool. We're going to be using a spot welder, which I'll have a link in the description. And guys, this is a fantastic tool to have because it makes buying batteries so cheap if we can build our own packs. So a little bit on that later. Now let's go ahead and disassemble this. Let's make a nice clean cut across this seam. We'll gently separate these two and we'll remove these two cells. Let's do it. Now I'm just going to take a little X-Acto knife and I'm just going to clean up this debris just a little bit so this looks nice and clean. Now our cut is nice and clean across. All we're going to do now is we're just going to very carefully barely prize these two halves partially open, not all the way. You just want to get it open enough to remove this battery cell. So let's just go ahead, let's work our hands in here. Perfect. Now here's the battery cell that we just removed from our Nyko battery pack, and here are two four-fifths AA nickel metal hydride batteries exactly the same. The only thing that we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to spot weld a small tab that goes across these two terminals. That's not a big deal. Let me show you how we're going to do that. 
Now whenever I'm rebuilding a battery pack, I like to use this tool right here. This is a one-handed, all-in-one assembly spot welder. It's automatic, it leaves me with one free hand to work with, and it works phenomenally. And also, it's very inexpensive. I think you can buy this for around $30 these days. I'll have a link in the video description, but as far as building and rebuilding battery packs, it's my favorite tool. It has multiple power settings, and it charges over USB-C. Great, great tool. Now, we're gonna be also taking some nickel stripping banding, and we're just going to be cutting this to size, running this across the terminals, and we're gonna be making some nice arcs, and we're gonna be spot welding this material onto the battery terminals. So let's get that ready, and I'll show you how that's done. Now, when building our battery pack and doing our spot welding, let's make sure that we have the polarity correct when we install our strip of banding right here on the back. So what we have here is we've got negative on the right side, we've got a positive terminal on the left side with our stock battery pack. So it's very simple. We're just going to mirror this with our new batteries right here. We've got a positive, we've got a negative, flip them, and we've got a negative here, a positive there. Fantastic. Now this nickel strip banding is very common to find, and I'll have a link for that as well in my video description, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this across my two terminals, and I'm going to approximate how much length I need. Now I'm going to use my thumb here to sort of be my measuring guide. I'm going to put it right about, I guess right about there is pretty good. Great. Now I'm just going to come in here with some snips. I'm going to cut across just like that. Now make sure your batteries are nice and coupled together tightly just like this, and I'm going to lay my strip of nickel here across the terminals just like this. Now that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to take my tool, and I'm going to grab the stripping on one side just to hold it. Now be very careful. We're going to introduce our two probes here, basically they're electrodes, and we're going to spot weld this banding right into position. Just like that. Now I'm going to come across and I'm going to do at least one or two more of those. One more. Now we have three nice spot welds. We're in good shape. Let's try to sneak one more in there. Beautiful. Everyone, great job. Our spot welding here is very clean, very strong, and this is going to hold beautifully. Now, just a few more prep things to do, and we can install this, and we'll be all done. Now, I'm going to insulate these terminals with just some simple Kapton tape. Now, this isn't incredibly necessary for the Wii, but it's still a really good practice, and I recommend it. Perfect. Now we're all ready to insert our new battery pack into our Nyko battery housing here. Now pay attention, it's very simple. If you look, we have polarity signs on each side. That tells us how we should orient our battery pack. Now I know that this here is clearly the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. This is the positive, this is the negative. We're just going to slowly and carefully, don't break it, widen this out. And we're just going to very gently put it in there just like that. Perfect. Now you can take this across if you want to, but it's not necessary because once you put this in a Wiimote like so, it fits in perfectly and by the time you put the cover on on the back, this is never going to fall out. This battery pack is perfectly contained and there's nothing left for you to do but charge it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really wanted to show off some new and expensive tools and hopefully impart a couple of new skills to you. Repacking your own batteries can save you a tremendous amount of money and it's just a great skill to develop. So having said that, I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. I appreciate all of you who support me. 
Anything you would like to see in the future, let me know, and we'll make sure it happens for you. Take care until we meet again.